Hi guys, today I'm in Singapore and I'm going to be meeting up with a gentleman called Kevin and we're going to be looking at his Nissan Skyline GTR. Um, so he's on the way to meet me in a few minutes time and uh, I am sitting in basically in a car park um, because I uh, had to get a taxi from central Singapore out to meet him and uh, he's going to be here any minute. So. Paint on this thing. It looks just awesome. What a car. Some wheels. You see that paint, that sort of flip, just changing on the wrap, it looks really, really nice. I can feel the heat kicking up from it. It's so hot. Check this carbon fiber out on the front. Really beautiful. Sorry about all the shadows. So how long have you been into Skylines for? Um, about a year plus. Okay. Yeah. And what did you have beforehand? Uh, Evil 10. Okay. Yeah. Another tuner's uh, weapon of a car. Yeah. Slightly different because my Evil 10 is a manual one. Yeah. Yeah. This is an auto. Brilliant. Transmission. Yeah. And how do you find the paddles? Do you, uh, do you leave it in... Uh, do you use your paddles? Do you leave it in auto? Because we're in auto at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But I do use a pedal shift, and for example, if I want to go for a quick drive. Okay. Yeah. It's quite powerful and very responsive. So what have you done to Gearbox to, to do that then? I strengthened, so I have a 16 plate um, clutch. Right. Yeah. Okay. Do you say 16 plate? Yeah. Okay. So it's able to take about a thousand a thousand torque. Right. So, yeah. Wow. It's a bit rough because because uh, it's meant for high power. Okay. And, uh, and high speed. So really, it almost track focus then. So the, so the drive train is track focus, but the suspension is standard. Yes, correct. It's still stock, but uh, I have the my intention to change it to HKS. Yes. Okay. And I imagine that will make a huge difference. Yeah. Okay. Make it quite firm at the same time. I mean, yeah. really. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, you really have got all these gauges running in here. So all of you that can't see this, I will show you this in a minute. We've got water temperature, engine oil temp. What is this? This is transmission oil temp. Oh, transmission oil temperature, yeah. which is a really good one. Um, engine oil and then oil. boost. Yeah. So you can see um, exactly the boost it's putting out. Right. Um, so this car has got um, uh, forged internals, yeah. um, hybrid turbo, hybrid. operated clutch, yeah. um, standard suspension at the moment, we're going to go to HKS. Yeah. Is the gearbox remapped? Can you remap the gearbox? You yes, can. Yes, so it's, it's handling the extra power if you need to put it through. Okay. Yep. And then the engine's been remapped. Yes. Operated intercoolers. Yep. By HKS. HKS. Um, any other any other bits and pieces and that you've done inside? Mm. Cam. Cam. No. Same. Same. Okay. Same. Okay. Oil cooler. Oil cooler. Yes. That's uprated. Yep. So have you got that sort of? Yeah. I need to have a look at the front of the car, I imagine it's, I imagine it's there. And then the exhaust system is uh, uh, HKS sports exhaust with titanium pipe uh, tips on the, on the exhaust, which you've got that lovely blue hue to them. And then your wheels, you've got gold wheels. Are they, um, what, what are the wheels? This is a uh, Foch two-piece okay. rim. Yeah. Um, it's rose gold and the barrel is actually carbon fiber. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. It's carbon fiber. And did you put those on? Did you actually order those and put those yeah, on the car? It's on overseas. Amazing. It must have made a fortune, but they, they must have been seriously expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about five dollars, six, about six dollars. And then tyres. What kind of tyres do you run? I'm running a. Uh, 
in that match. Yeah, that backfire. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Um, I'm running a PS4. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like the, uh, the Pilot Sport. Yeah. It's a good tyre. I've got those, uh, I've always put those on to uh, the 911s and also I've got it on the Audi RS3 that I've got as well. Right. Uh, makes a huge difference. Yeah. Really responsive in the steering. Yeah. And good out here, not so good in England. In the, in the cold weather when it's wet, windy and raining, they take a bit of time to put some heat into them and then they grip. Yeah. But otherwise they are a bit, you need your four wheel drive, otherwise you can feel it starting to spin into yeah. the first, second and third and, and then away you go, it's fine. Exterior of the car, so you've got so the body kit that's on the car. Yeah. Is that who's that made by? HKS. No, it's actually the top secret. Okay. Yeah, it's the latest version. It's version three. Right. Okay. Yeah. So this area we're in, we're we're in um, uh, Selatar. Yes, this is a Selatar dam. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I've not been here before. So Selatar dam is beautiful. Yeah. And then you guys won't be able to see it. You might be able to see it a bit later. Actually, but, uh, on the weekend. Yeah. Um, at night. Most of the car were together here. Yeah. Oh, they line they're up on the outside, yeah, around the sides? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So on the right-hand side of the photo that you guys can see off the roof of the car, yeah. um, to the right-hand side is where all the cars line up and everybody comes to show their toys off at the weekends. Um, so this is a good spot for me to come back to him on my next trip. Yeah. So about 11-ish, Yeah. see most of the car lining up here. Yeah. PM, yeah. yeah. So it's like the Midnight Racing Club. It's not really, really. Just, just a gallery. <laughs> it's a tame version of the Tokyo Club. Yeah. Which I don't even know if it's going anymore. Is it still going? Midnight. Yeah. So that was a big deal. It used to be a big deal anyway. Brilliant. Well, it's a lovely car. Really nice inside. And you use this as your daily driver? Yeah, daily. And how do your clients feel about it? Do they ever see your car? <laughs> oh, they like it. They love my car. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so time's up. Yeah, yeah. So Kevin has a um, uh, he has a good day job. So he's a uh, he's a banker, and um, and so this doesn't portray banker to me. No. Bank robber maybe, <laughs> but, but not so much banker. And so all of these trim components yeah. inside that I mean, this is all real carbon fibre. This, this is real. And so you did all of this as well. No, it came here from the car. Did it really? Okay. So is this standard from from the factory on the yeah. Nissan? Okay. So the steering wheel also. Carbon yeah, carbon's nice. And you, I like the, uh, you got the red line on it as well yeah. for racing and stuff. And it's thick. So you get that amazing flame at night. Yeah. So we have to refilm at night. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's quite a bang though, isn't it? It really, yeah. really pops. Because I know some of the BMWs and things in the UK, the M3s, the M4s, they've had them remapped, so they've yeah. got the popping. Yeah. Um, but they almost sound, I think, a bit ridiculous. Because you hear them and they are so poppy, literally, as soon as they let off the gas, yeah. it's going ba 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 ba. But this is, this is very much more. I'm going to get you at a certain point. Yeah. A bit more controllable. That's great. And so to change the maps over, is that built into the it's car? Huh? So I can change on the move. Oh, you can? So yes. you can just do it off your steering wheel? Yes, on the steering wheel. Fantastic. Okay. And what kind of map is it running? What, um, uh, who, who makes the map for this car? Do you know? Uh, or was but, it handmade but, but, but for it? Uh, he actually yeah. did it, so he yes. dialed it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And does he have a rolling road? Sorry? Does he have a rolling road as well, a dyno? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Great. So he's actually tested it all out yeah. and set it all up. Amazing. Because it feels quite tractable. The car feels quite easy to drive on a daily basis, yeah. which in Singapore traffic, yeah. I imagine you need. Um, and yeah, I mean, the temperatures are absolutely rock solid, aren't they? Yeah. And what is the temperature outside at the moment? 30? 
I think there's about 33. Yeah, so 33 yeah. degrees outside and a lot of humidity. Yeah. Um, and so this is running really well out here. So do you have kids as well? Do you have kids no. in the back? Oh, no, yeah. you don't. Okay, okay. Fantastic. And tell me, your Evo 10 that you had, mm -hmm. um, what sort of power was that? I was running about 455 wow. mil on a mil. Okay. Yeah. And they what do they stand at? 280? So what, uh, what, what is the standard power on that car? Um, I'm not, I'm not very sure. Not sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So after the suspension in this, what more can you do? Maybe I can harden the coil up okay. for better control. Yeah. Uh, cornering. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing more on the engine. You're not going to go for more power. No, uh, I think it's just nice for single bodily drive. Okay. Because if let's say you're running a high power, like a thousand horsepower, yeah. I think it's quite difficult to drive on a daily basis. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's running 800 horsepower at the moment, yep. um, and about 600 at. So that's at the flywheel, isn't it? Yes. Um, and, a, and it's losing a fair amount to the gearbox and yep. the four-wheel drive system. So around 600 to the wheels. see this jumping up and down a bit so the um, uh, it's fairly firm suspension in a, in a GTR anyway yeah Singapore roads are pretty good but they do have the odd bumps and speed bumps so exactly yeah. the same as the UK never very good on a supercar Another one, or would you go for something different? A Vendador. A what? A Vendador. A Vendador? Yeah. That's a serious, <laughs> seriously different car. Uh, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> Not as tunable. Yeah. Harder to tune. It's harder to tune. I think so. I mean, it's a, uh, well, I don't know. The problem is anything Italian is a problem immediately. At least with this, you know you're going to do something with it. You know it's going to work. Yeah. But. I mean, the, the Aventadors, um, the Hurricanes, and, and all of those cars, Lamborghini, that everything's very specialist. Yeah. Um, and it just is just telephone numbers in comparison. Um, so it could be expensive to work on a Skylight engine. Try yeah. working on an Aventador engine, and then you just times it by 10. Yeah. Um, Looks fantastic in the sunlight. You see him going off into the distance. It's a bit windy out here, I'm sorry. You can hear him coming down. Hear those backfires. Serious piece of kit. It's a real weapon of a car. Here he comes. Wow, do you get those flames? Hopefully you can see the flames.
<laughs> it's seriously loud. I mean, it's like a machine gun going off. It's not even like a machine gun. It's like a grenade being tossed. Okay, so we're going to take a look under the uh, under the bonnet. So Kevin's opening it up. Okay. Wow. A lot of the heat you can feel coming off this. So we're at 32, 33 degrees out here. High humidity, and the heat is really kicking off it. All H HKS components. You can see all these uprated items. All these, these hoses. Really nice. And the GTR engine's hand-built engine, isn't it? GTR engine's hand-built. Yeah, so totally hand-built engine. This is forged as well. You see down here going into the manifolds. Metal tanks. It's an amazing machine. So the car was white. It was a white car. Yeah. So there you go. You can see the color of the car against flip paint. You can hear it running as well at the back. These are really, I mean they're real fist sized exhaust pipes. I mean I can fit my fist in either of these. So it passes the fist test. <laughs> Can you rev it? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see if uh, we can get a couple of uh, pops and flames out of this. It's gonna scare the hell out of me, no doubt. So let's see what we can get out of it. Officially a hooligan. <laughs> yeah, they were big. They were really big. I mean, fireball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, look, ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen this is a complete hooligan's car. Kevin is a banker. I mean, really, it's uh, this is not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> just letting her cool off a little bit. Well. Thanks, Kevin. Welcome. I really appreciate Welcome. it. It's, uh, it's, an, it's an awesome car, awesome car. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to going in it another time. And uh, I want to see it go around a track.